If you're deciding between owning a home and renting, or maybe buying another home, of course there's a lot of emotional reasons to, uh, to do that. At the same time, there's some economic things that you can analyze to know whether uh, you're making uh, the, the best decision. And this tutorial is meant to go through some of those numbers. You know, Robert Kiyosaki in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, stated that your, your house is not an asset because your home doesn't put money in your pocket. Kiyosaki defines an asset as something that puts money in your pocket. A home definitely takes money out of your pocket. But if you think about it, we all need a place to live. And so money essentially is gonna come out of our pocket to pay for our housing. Now it comes down to, is it worth putting our money inside of our house or putting money elsewhere? So the first thing I'm gonna do is use a calculator that is, uh, by Truth Concepts, you can visit them at truthconcepts.com. And I believe that they have a free uh, trial if you guys wanna download it and do this analysis for, uh, for yourself. So I'm first gonna put in just some figures, right? So let's say that you wanted to buy uh, a half a million dollar, half a million dollar home. Okay, the price of the property, uh, let's say it's right at what the value is. And then closing costs, uh, let's say 2%, so $10,000. And then realtor fees, let's say 3%, let's say you got a deal, right? That would be $15,000. Now the first loan amount, usually a recommended down payment is 20%. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna start with. So we'll put $100,000 down, uh, which means uh, you'll have a $425,000 mortgage. Uh, let's say that the interest rate is uh, four four percent, and you do a uh, thirty year thirty year loan. Take one zero off of that one. All right, so your monthly principal and interest payment for the mortgage is two thousand twenty nine. Now, property taxes vary from state to state. Uh, let's let's just use kind of right in the middle at twenty five hundred dollars per year. Uh, insurance, you're going to pay, you know, probably about $150 per month there. Uh, and let's say maintenance, this could be all over the place, but let's, uh, let's say that it's uh, a relatively new home. So very little maintenance, hundred bucks a month. I uh, won't put HOA fees or anything else uh, in there. Now this is what's important, right? In order to, to understand the value uh, of a decision, you have to have something to compare it to. So if you didn't buy the house, you'd still have to live somewhere. So what is the equivalent rent payment of a property that is similar to the one that you would, uh, that you would purchase? Let's say $500,000 property was, um, geez, 3750 uh, per, per month, okay? Uh, now we look at some additional factors, right? So owning a home, you have some tax benefits, uh, such as mortgage interest, and also a capital gains uh, exemption when it comes to selling selling the home. So tax bracket, let's just say a blended rate, let's say 28%, uh, capital gains tax, uh, let's say 15%, but uh, there's an exemption right now for married couples at $500,000, right? So you can have a profit of up to that without having to pay capital gains tax. Uh, let's do a 10 year analysis and Let's say that the property appreciates by uh, 3%. Okay, so what this, what this shows, actually I'm gonna put one more thing in there. If you sold the property at 10, uh, 10 years, okay, let's say that they you know, took another 3% in uh, commission to sell, to sell the property. So what this shows is that you know, money is gonna come out of uh, your pocket to buy this property, right? $100,000, uh, of, uh, you know, of, of down payment. So that money could have gone somewhere else, could have earned interest somewhere else. Okay. It had an alternative use. And so when you're comparing what, you know, whether a, a home is worth buying, okay, you have to look at the difference between what it takes to get into a rental property versus what it takes to get into an actual home that you own. Okay. And it's usually a down payment. So now that you have that down payment, okay. Uh, you look at, you know, if you were able to put that money somewhere else, you would have had to have earned uh, 7% in that other, other place. So your net cash out, if you were to sell this, uh, sell this property, would be $319,605. So you put in 100, 
you get out 319, 605. Now, there are some factors here that you don't necessarily control. Number one, you can't control the appreciation rate. Uh, at the same time, you could improve the property, which may have it go up in, uh, go up in value. Uh, also, when it comes to rent costs, you know, usually over the course of 10 years, your rent price is not going to be the same. So if you had a rent cost that went up by 5% uh, per year, that would actually be nice as it, as it relates to uh, what you would have had to have earned in an investment right, to match, uh, to match this. Okay, if you put it at 3%, which is probably more likely, you know, it's a 10% return. So although Kiyosaki has a, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of merit to what he says, at the same time, you have to live somewhere. So when it comes down to it, you know, if these were the details of your home, then it would most likely be worth having the home uh, as opposed to uh, putting it into an investment. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, these are an analysis that you can do using the Truth Concepts software. Uh, you can visit them at, at truthconcepts.com. I think they give you like a 10 day trial uh, and you can down, download uh, this specific calculator and, uh, and apply it to your situation. So I hope you learned something and hope you make a good decision both emotionally and logically when it comes to where you reside. That's it for now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Bye.